Hello everybody, Hassanier Engineer MBA and Investor and in today's video I want to talk about Caribou Biosciences going IPO. They are officially a public company as of yesterday, Friday the 23 July 2021. We were the first YouTube channel to cover this company and I still believe we are the only YouTube channel to cover this company you can youtube it yourself and you'll find out we are the only company who covered this company and we will explain why we did so now before we do that guys before we talk about this please like this video smash that like button destroy that like button guys if you like this video if you want to go a step further you can subscribe hit that notification guys it really really does help the channel helps the community and ultimately helps the whole investment space now Caribou biosciences they went public yesterday and this was quite anticipated from our end here in this community because we are all about genome editing companies we are all about genomics and Caribou biosciences just as a high level description guys they were founded in 2011 again 2011 and CRISPR the technology that everyone talks about when we talk about genome editing the next frontier tech that was actually published through a paper by Jennifer Doudna in collaboration with Emmanuel uh, Charpentier's team in 2012 right so we're looking at almost a year difference guys a year difference that this company came about and this company was really founded and still is led by the same legendary Rachel Arwitz, which is the CEO of this company. She is amazing. She was part of Jennifer Downer's team with developing and founding CRISPR, the technology. So you know that this company is led by someone who is technical. You know that this company is led by one of the uh, one of the pioneers in this technology and you also know that there is a stable leadership so right off the bat you're getting good vibes from this company uh to me when i learned about this company a few months ago i was quite interested in it and when they i saw that they filed for ipo in june right so now we are end of july but in june when they filed for ipo i went all over their s1 i was so interested in this company and to me them going public yesterday was a testament of how far we have come in genome editing and there are a couple of reasons why they would go public right a company would go uh, public one to raise more money two to rewards uh, inside investors whether those are employees whether those are early investors vcs uh, there are so many reasons why a company could who could and would go public right but the main idea there is that now they are public now the average citizen can invest in this company in caribou bioscience and they really came out strong I mean they were up like they, they they suspected to open between $14 a share to $16 a share and I believe if you look at the s1 and I was corrected uh, last yesterday on this they have about 50 to 57 million outstanding shares right um, including the employees share and all the vested options I mean though you can google that if you're really interested to figure out how shares are calculated through companies and so on but just know that they have about 57 million shares if you multiply that with their stock price that's how you get the market cap valuation and in this case in this case this company is worth from according to Yahoo finances just shy of 900 million dollars this is very small guys this is very very small and we'll look just in a few minutes why this is small but I, I just wanted to really go over the stock price again we don't really talk about stock prices in this channel because we think about long term we think about you know the long term horizon you know we do our research we build conviction and then we pull trigger on these companies we hold them until the fundamentals change that's the mentality we go about and just full full disclosure guys I am invested in this company as of today as of making this video so just take that for what it is worth so obviously the stock got a little bit hit throughout the day I mean honestly IPOs are always a roller coaster you never know to you know Monday could be down another five percent or or it could be up ten percent honestly at this point IPOs go all over the place 
Uh, it is what it is. It's part of the game. You just have to be aware of this. Again, if you're looking for day trading, uh, please don't uh, take anything I say here relevant to what I what your plans are. But if you think about long term, if you think about really investing in companies that are revolutionary, then do think about the long term. You know, I understand we get all caught up in these daily price actions, especially when you're on social media platform. People talk daily prices but just be aware of this dynamic right just be aware that's all i'm asking um so a quick note there they have about 100 almost 150 million dollars in cash that's not a lot but i do suspect they will be raising a lot more than that uh over the upcoming months potentially years um this is obviously due to the whole genome editing space the whole genomic space companies are being valued a lot more investors are pouring their hard-earned money into this and obviously these companies want to capitalize on it just like how what we saw with Antilia they have now well over a billion dollars in cash with their recent uh, raising the funds to the public market Beam Therapeutics have done that as well and obviously CRISPR Therapeutics they own over two billion dollars in cash as we speak again this is no joke this is no uh, this is this is no small moment. This is big money. You know these companies. Uh, yes, they're burning cash. Yes, they have a lot of R and D expenses. But we're talking about like hundred to hundred fifty million dollars per quarter. I mean, if you just make the quick math on CRISPR Therapeutics, you know they could go a few years without being any 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 worried by for money, right? And you have the green light, right? These companies, this is what you want as a high tech company, as a, a company that is burning cash. You want to have the green light, right? Take the story of Amazon, take the story of Tesla in different industries, different verticals, but they all had the green light, right? So this still applies with genomics companies, with genome editing companies. You want to have the green light. You want leadership to execute, get the job done. And it's very hard to do so when you're strangled with money, when you need to raise money, when you don't have enough money to pay your employees that's when things get very hard and very tough uh, fortunately for us many companies in the genome editing space are really well off and we believe Kaibu Biosciences will be well off too and again we just talked about raising public uh, uh, money through public funds uh, through the public markets but don't forget there are revenues to be made from partnerships there are revenues to be made through licensing so keep that in mind so I wanted to maybe talk about a few things in this uh, video um, and the reason why I did make this video besides the fact that they are going public is that if you YouTube it yourself right go on YouTube you know there's a search bar just above this video uh, if you're watching on your uh, browser on your desktop but if you're on your phone you know just search for it Caribou Biosciences IPO you will see that our videos in this channel are the only videos covering this company. And there's one other video from Market Watch, and they covered like, I think it was two days ago, they covered this company and other companies going IPO 23 July. So it had nothing to do with this company specific. They just had to cover every single IPO for Friday, right? There are many other companies that go public every single day. That's just the normal basis of the public markets. A private company is going public and they covered this company and I watched that video, right? Because it was literally the only video out there besides mine. And that video basically said, Caribou Bioscience said, they literally read whatever you're seeing here, right? They, made the, they read the mission statement and they basically said, you know, it's a high tech company, uh, a very R&D focus and they are going public share valued between $14 a share to $16 a share. And that's it. They didn't talk about anything in terms of leadership they didn't talk about anything in terms of licensing they didn't talk about anything in terms of patents and we did right we obviously do, did our due diligence and we went through this company we had a 30 minutes video and we made another video last week on it and we are so excited about this company we really digged into the s1 we dive deep into their website just the way i'm doing it right now on their web page we look at their leadership we look at their technology their proprietary technology which is chad Denae's our dna technology we talked about how they aim to improve efficiency and reduce off targets really really have this next generation allogenetic uh, cell therapies uh, with significant potential for treatment of cancer we talked about some of this uh, in our previous videos and we really you know did our best here to really decode as to what makes this company special 
why this company should be valued the way it is, why we believe this company will be worth multiples in the upcoming months. And the reason why we do this, guys, is because we think in a way where we have to look at things differently from the public media. Right? If you do the same thing as the rest of the world, then your results are going to be just like the rest of the world. Right? Let, let's just put things in perspective. Right? Uh, many people will not beat the public markets and they are advised to go with index funds. Many people will fail at day trading. Uh, and the reason why this is, is because they are going through the same things that most other people go, right? There's this herd mentality. There's this mentality that people want to follow, be secure, be safe. And what's going to happen is you're going to follow some legacy media like CNBC, Bloomberg, New York Times, Wall Street Journal. And you're going to listen to these legacy investors, legacy Wall Street analysts, and look at the research papers from Morgan Stanley, look at those research papers, and sort of hop on to one of these flashy names. And really, those are established companies, right? But you're no, never going to hear about Caribou Biosciences. You're never going to hear about CRISPR Therapeutics, these types of companies, right? Um, I, I covered this when Antilia released their in vivo uh, data for the first time in, in history in CRISPR. Um, in, in late June last month, CNBC covered Antilia. And honestly, I didn't even understand what the analyst was saying. And I've been studying this space for quite some time, right? I should be able to understand what some non-tech, uh, non-CRISPR tech individual may say about a company. And honestly, he went all over the place, the analyst. I, I didn't even understand what they were saying. And my point here, my point, and obviously he was reading off a script that was built by an intern over the night, you know, because the Antilia went over 50% in a single day. So that broke ground. Wall Street got interest. Uh, the legacy media got interest. They want your clicks. They want your eyeballs. It makes sense for them to talk about it. What doesn't make sense for you as an investor, as a citizen, as the average citizen, is for you to recognize these patterns and do your own research, right? Build your own conviction. You can't rely on social media platform or other users, and you cannot rely on other YouTube channels to really provide you financial advice, right? You have to do your own research. You have to build this conviction. You have to research these companies, read research papers, try to understand as to why this, this type of company here, why we talk about proprietary technology, why, you know, the fact that they already filed for IND, papers, they already got accepted, they already dosed their first patient for CB010. These are things that you will never get covered in legacy media. These are not things that, you know, your, you know, your, your typical investor on Wall Street or, or, or typical investor on CNBC will talk to you about because, you know, they cannot know this. You know, first of all, they can't know everything. Right, because there's so many things going on in our world. We are such a dynamic world. There are so many verticals, so many industries, and plus, time is limited. Right, time is limited through videos. Time is limited through interfacing, and you, as an individual, you have to recognize these this dynamic, this uh, structure, and sort of do your own research. Right, you're never going to hear about some of these people in this company. Like we talked about this, like Rachel Harwitz, she has videos on YouTube that have less than 200 views. Okay, the CEO of one of the most revolutionary companies we believe in this channel is watch less than my own videos on my channel, right? And this is a CEO of a company. She was one of the pioneers at CRISPR. She's amazing. She's a leader. But you don't see her on TikTok. You don't see her on Instagram. You don't see her on Twitter. You don't see her on Reddit. You don't see, you know, young woman talking about this leader. You don't see um, doesn't matter if it's a young, old, or or a man, or doesn't matter what age, gender, right? My point is that they are not covered, right? And for me, this is extremely, extremely unfair. I think as an investor, you are already going against the herd, right? The herd will not cover these companies. It will not cover this leadership board. They won't cover this amazing leader hero that we're looking at. And to me, this is quite a sad but at the same time at the same time i think there are opportunities i think this is what we talk about hidden gems i think you as an investor you have to really be in a position to recognize that there are there is talent out there right but what matters is building the conviction right doing your own research building the conviction sort of establishing your way into really understanding some of these companies that you want to invest in and ultimately because look guys and and I will I will make a video tomorrow so we are Saturday right now tomorrow 
on Sunday, I will publish a video about one of the interviews that, uh, that I just watched between Dave Lee, the uh, legendary Dave Lee, uh, and Chris Camilo, right, from Dumb Money, right? And they talk a lot about, you know, being connected with the social world, being connected with the real world, not being behind your desk with, you know, other legacy analysts with Wall Street, and really doing your own research, recognizing patterns, finding what's boiling out there, and really capitalizing on those opportunities because ultimately your income, right, this is a little bit rigid, right? You can't just grow your income at your work, at your job, just exponentially, just by a few clicks, right? Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. But the wealth gap, it can be done, right? If we want to solve the wealth gap, if we want to level these same levels of opportunities in this competitive space, then this is how it is done, right? By finding opportunities, by looking at two specific assets, in this case, companies, public companies, and really understanding to what there is their competitive advantage, what's their future outlook, why this company we believe could be three, four, five, ten x within the next years, right? And I'm not talking about 20 years, I'm talking about two, three, four years. What if this company is able to really have their CBO 10 uh, program to be successful by next year they'll have their first set of data by 2022 which they announced and I think the world will go crazy on their proprietary technology and I think you have to reuse that framework the same way you use it for other companies I know a lot of you guys do a lot more research than I do so thank you very much for that but ultimately this is what this channel is about guys it's about helping each other out it's about promoting that information if you want to share this type of information to investors do so guys there is nothing to hide Everything is public. There is no inside information. All we do is just we sort of rewire our brain, right? We rewire our brain so that we don't listen to legacy analysts, legacy investors. I mean, ultimately, that's my purpose of this video, guys, is, you know, one, to talk about Caribou Biosciences going IPO'd. Second, really pointing out, really pointing out the obvious facts that no one is covering this company. But, you know, you have to step back and ask yourself, why is no one covering this company? Is there something really to this company or am I just wasting time, right? And this is only you as an investor, as an average citizen can answer. Again, I work for you guys. I want to provide you guys for information for free. I want you guys to really, after watching these types of videos, you know, you wake up and you just like, you know, get your mind thinking, get your brain thinking. And I know a lot of you guys like our videos, subscribe. So my, my mission here, guys, is to help you guys out. I know a lot of you guys are thankful. You guys are leaving me amazing feedback, amazing comments. And I love you guys for it. You know, this is amazing what has happened the recent months in this channel and this community. But we will go forward. We have so much work to do. I'm so passionate to serve you guys. This is what passion is. This is what a mission is. And this is what my duty is. So thank you very much for watching. Tomorrow, like I said, we'll make an amazing video on a review from an interview between Dave Lee and Chris Camilo. I think you guys will really love this. It's all about investments, fundamentals, investing. It's all about the idea of legacy media, doing your own research. I love those types of topics. I think no matter what field you are in, whether that's in Bitcoin, Tesla, um, obviously gene genome editing companies, I think there is a lot of fundamentals, a lot of lessons to be learned from that interview. So we'll end this video like this. Again, smash that like button, guys. Destroy that like button. We'll see each other tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. And have an amazing, beautiful Saturday, guys. It is so nice out there. It is such a sunny day. Go outside. Get some sun, guys. It is the weekend. Take some time off. Relax. Uh, but do watch our videos, guys. So thank you very much. We'll see each other tomorrow. Thank you.